It has been a wild, wild couple of weeks for the New York Jets. So Zach Wilson goes down with an injury. We get the the debut of Mike White. Comes in, throws for 400 yards, four touchdowns. People crowned him. They crowned him. Gets injured in the next game. Starts the following game. Throws four interceptions, which... I guess I guess it had to even out at some point, right, Andrew? It had to even out at some yeah. point. It was um, that I should have been the number two overall pick. Yeah, um, yeah, that's probably not true. Uh, but the Jets are going now going back to Joe Flacco, um, a quarterback who they had in their roster last year, who played relatively well given the circumstances he was in, um, and who probably has at least a little bit left in the tank. What do you think about this? Because look, I made the argument that the biggest mistake the Jets made this coming into this year was the fact that they didn't have a veteran quarterback on the roster coming into this year to give Zach Wilson maybe a few weeks to to kind of buy his time instead of throwing him into the fire. But instead, they had to trade a fifth rounder to get Flacco, which for those counting people, Joe Flacco in the past three years has been traded for a fourth round and a fifth round pick, which is... Just crazy considering what some other players are going for these days. But hey, man, Joe's making a living. Can't hate on that. Um, but yeah, what do you think about this move to Flacco? Is it the right one? Should they stick with him potentially given the way their season's gone for the rest of the year? I mean, what 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 else what else could they do? That they're already what? I mean, besides the fucking the Lions, I mean, they're pretty much like right there, one step above the Lions. So there's really nowhere. They, they can't get any lower. They can only go up from here. Might as well take a veteran who's, you know, he's been there. He's done that. And, you know, see if he can, you know, keep you in some games and get you some wins at this point. You know, Zach Wilson, you don't know when you're going to see him again. Mike White, uh, his his 15 minutes is over. So no, we're never going to see him again. It's tragic, dude. It's tragic, dude. It was like Lynn Sanity. It, no, Lynn Sanity was much better than this. Like yeah, this, Sanity, this was like Sanity, Sanity was like three weeks. This was only two, I think. Yeah, no, this Not, was like this is one of the shortest lived like quarterback like excitement periods ever. Like you remember, like like who was it? it? Was like Nate Mullins a few years ago. Everyone was like raving about how Nate Mullins is going to be good. Gardner Minshew actually his lasted over a year. So like you had that. I mean, but 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 yeah, no, this was like one of the more pathetic ones. Um. As far as Flacco on this roster and, and whether or not he should start, Flacco should start the rest of the season. I would deactivate Zach Wilson because here's my thing. Wilson's already come in and gotten injured once, and there have been times where he has not looked good. There have been times where he's looked rattled. But there have also been times where he looked great, as I'm sure you can attest uh, as a Titans fan. But... I think for because given the roster that's assembled right now, given the fact that they can't play defense, they can't protect the quarterback, you stick with Flacco for the rest of the year, you deactivate Zach Wilson, you get him healthy, you get him you you have him read the playbook, have him do whatever, get him ready for next year. Go all in next year, draft some offensive tackles to block for this man, maybe get him a weapon or two in free agency, spend the damn money, New York. Everyone else in your division is spending the money. But you got to stick with Flacco for the rest of the year. I think it's just the the worst thing you can do to Zach Wilson at this point is, one, get him injured twice in the same year, which they run the risk of doing, and two, ruin his confidence. Because I've seen Zach Wilson get really shaky and rattled, and that is not a good thing for a young quarterback. You don't want to see that happen. You want your young quarterback to exude confidence, even if the team's not doing well, even if the, the he's not doing well. Like, we've seen what Trevor Lawrence is doing. I know you can say what you want about Trevor Lawrence. There have been times where he has stunk up the joint. He's absolutely stunk up the joint. But the thing is, he plays with poise all the time. No matter what, he plays with poise. And that's the, that's the thing about these young quarterbacks. If you can make the mistakes and still play with poise, you can come back and and potentially like you know get better over, over time. But you don't want to have that Josh Rosen effect where you just lose all confidence. Because then if you lose confidence in yourself the team's going to lose confidence in you and that's what ruins these young quarterbacks. I did I did gain some respect for Sunshine this past weekend. Watching him fumble, watching him fumble during that what could have been the game-winning drive and then the Colts recovered it. I did gain respect for him. The fact that he kept his head up despite the fact that he pretty much just lost them the game on the final possession. He did keep there's, his head up though. So I did I did I did respect him a little bit. 
this is this is such a guys this has been a year and a half in the making andrew has never said anything this nice about trevor lawrence i did gain some respect for him he doesn't even have that nice hair dude griffin had nicer hair than him Big shout out to Griffin, man. He did have nicer hair than them. Thanks for watching this video from Real Take Sports Talk. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Also remember to check out our live show every single Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on the YouTube channel. And remember, keep it real.